Okay, so generally speaking, when you wanna mix up, let's just say a color or a swatch, there are three things you need to think about. What's the hue? What's the value? What's the chroma? Okay, hue is blue, green, yellowish green, green, darker yellow, yellow, darker orange, orange, red. Hue is red, green, orange, purple, yellow, blue, right? Value is white to black. And chroma is color intensity, you know? That's the color yellow, that's the color yellow, but this one has more chroma than this one. Brown is technically a really dark valued lower chroma yellow. So you need to think of what's the hue, what's the value, what's the chroma. So when I'm looking at this, I'm going to grab a little mineral spirits because all these are a little dried up and I'm actually gonna clean this painting surface quite quickly. But I look at this and I'm like, okay, what is this? This is not blue, it's not orange, it's not green, it's not purple. It's closest to yellow. So why don't I just go ahead for starters, grab a little yellow. Okay. So as we're looking at those, I could tell you right now, hue, not working, value, hmm, close, and chroma. Okay, so what we need to do is I know for a fact to make things easier on my life, I need to shift this closer to orange. So I could grab a little orange. Right, we're overshooting here, that's fine. Showing you how you guys will eventually get there. And look what happened. We shifted closer to orange. And I still feel like as I'm pulling more orange here, I'm just gonna get closer to this swatch. Now clearly I overshot and it's way too what? Chromatic. So how do you think we would lower the chroma of this orange? Well, if you remember in your art class with your crazy art teacher who smoked too much weed, she would tell you, you use the compliment. The compliment of orange is blue. So if we were to use a little bit of blue, what would happen is the color would start to gray itself. You would, oh, this is really dry. Look at that, look at that, come on. Give me a little, give me a little. Okay, we got a little blue. What you start to do when you add the blue is it brings it back to a neutral. So we're essentially going closer to gray. So if I mixed orange and blue and went back and forth, orange to blue, orange to blue, gradually I get to some neutral gray in the middle. So as I'm doing this, I could say, okay, so we've kind of lowered the chroma a little bit by neutralizing it with blue. Now, if I think hue, value, chroma, I recognize that this is closer to white than this is. Do I want to add black to this? Do I want to add white to this? Probably want to add white, and that's what I'm going to do. So I would take a little white, just a little bit, and I want to see what that does. So it, it, when you add white, you're essentially removing chroma from the pigment, but you're increasing the value. Chroma is like the most difficult to understand. And just know that if you're using paint straight from a tube, that is the chromatic it will ever be. The moment you mix it, with another color, you are immediately desaturating that pigment. So if you want something to be super chromatic, go straight from the tube. Your art teachers will say, don't go straight from the tube, but sometimes it's beneficial to do that. So as I look at this, I'm looking and I could say, you know what, this looks a little cool and it's still more, it's too chromatic. So I still wanna add a little bit more white to this, but I also feel like I want to shift it. Maybe it'd be easier to see when I add this white. 
Now, I'm, I'm exaggerating this for you guys just to kind of show you how you don't have to, it's not a race. You could take your time with this. And this takes like, you know, time to figure out how to, how to you know, approach a swatch. And eventually it'll start to be a little more intuitive. But as I look at this, I know I want to add yellow and I did all that yellow, but I want to try to touch a little bit of this cadmium red here. Not a lot, but just a little bit. I want to see what this starts to look like. Just a little touch. So if we do that, all of a sudden, it looks like, okay, we're actually getting a little closer. We increased chroma because we added pigment to this white. Okay, and I want to keep pushing this red. I want to see what happens if we add a little bit more to it. And it's okay if we overshoot it. We can always come back and add more white. I want to add a little more red. See what this does. We're getting a little bit closer there. Can you see that? Just like, boop, like that. This is kind of how you would really use it. You put the swatch on there. So this is an easier way to kind of really see rather than blurring your eyes, you just apply the color directly to the swatch. This is a glossy finish. So what I can do is I look at this and I could tell myself, well, if I were to blur my eyes, I could say, you know what? The value looks a little too dark. And I feel like we pushed this hue a little too far to the red family. So if I want to increase the value and get back to more of an orange, I need to create a mixture that is higher in value and closer to orange. So if this is closer to red and we wanna make it to orange, you would mix yellow to the red to get orange. And this yellow is quite chromatic and I know since it's a higher in value than this, it should push us to a higher value and closer to orange. So I'll grab a little bit and I wanna see what this does. So we got a little mixture of that, tap. And look as we just tapped, you could see now we are way closer now compared to this to this. We're way closer now. So if I'm looking here, how do we solve for this now? Or if I'm blurring my eyes, I could tell you that we need to be a little bit, I would say it's when, and here's the thing. It gets very difficult to discern once you get this close, but I would try to add a touch of white and maybe a little bit more red because I feel like we're still too close to yellow and dark in value. So I actually have this pink here, you know, and what that's going to do is it's going to increase the value because this pink is higher in value than this color. And it's going to shift us to a more orange because I feel like this is too cold. It's too yellow. So if we want to make it warmer and more orange, you could technically add like a red to it, right? But if I know if I reach for this red or this red or this red or this red, it's gonna be really chromatic. Now I'm not saying you can't go like, okay, I add a little red, I add a little white and mix that together and then put that in here, that might work. But sometimes, you know, why do that when I could just grab a pink that I have right there, you know? So I would gonna just try this, grab a little pink all right, just get a little bit like this. And I'm gonna mix it in here just to dilute it a tad. I'm gonna pop, 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 pop. You gotta make those sounds and look at that. So I would honestly say we're even closer than we were before or, you know, one would argue the opposite, but I'm gonna grab a little more of that yellow. Tap, 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 tap. I mean, look at that. 
that's really close. And you can push this as long as, as, as far as you want. Like, I mean, what the hell, let's see. So I'm, if I'm really gonna go anal crazy on this one, I would say, I would want to say that this, I know it's really hard to see, is actually still a little too high in value. So I added too much white to it. So what will we need to do? Well, first we need to darken it, obviously, right? But we also need more color in there because it looks like it's just too white. So it might just be grabbing a little bit more of this mixture here is what's all we need to do because this has a little more chroma in it. So I'll tap to the bottom here to see what this does. Okay. Can you see that? Whoops, I went the wrong way. So let's grab a little, let's say just a touch of orange. Just wanna see a touch of orange, what that does. Mix it in here. Let's get the very top top. So you're getting a weird glare on it now, but there it's even better. So you can see this one was, we thought was the uh, super close one. That still might even be closer than that. It's so hard to tell, but I would add more. So it still looks like it's still got too much white in it. So I want to add even a little bit more of this orange, a little more, add it to this mixture. And now where's, where's a dry spot? Okay, the top left corner looks like it's a little dry. I'm aiming to show you guys with the camera, but also using my brush. It's hard to do both at the same time. Okay, so let's look here. Nope, which one? It's so close. So that looks like a little orange. I can grab like a tap of yellow now. See what that is, mix that in there. Where's a dry spot? Okay, we'll hit that corner right there. See what that looks like. All right, so that, you can see just, if you blur your eyes, you can see this little corner here is just on. And I would say, I wanna add a little smidget of pink like the littlest bit, okay? Rub off the excess here, okay? Go back to, uh, oh fudge, where do we mix? I think we mix, did we mix in here, guys? So that's the problem, you forget where you mix stuff. If I had a guess, I would say we're probably in here. I'm adding a little bit more pink to this. Okay, where's the dry spot? We can go, okay, we can go top right corner. Let's see this. Tap, 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 Look at that. Now what I could do, that's so close, but if you want to be super crazy, I know that a little, um, this is raw umber here. I think a little raw umber would literally do the trick. Like the smallest, smallest amount. I know that's what it needs because you're looking at the top right corner. It's so hard to tell, but since I've been doing this for quite some time, I could tell that it's just a little too chromatic and honestly a little too Guys, I don't know. Yeah, it's just a little too chromatic. So we have just this umber here. We're gonna get like so anal about this, which I love. Okay, let's see, did we ruin it? Maybe, but this is, this is fun. This is uh, experimentation. So let's see what this ends up being. Tap, tap, tap. Oh no. Yeah, I messed that up. That's way too much. Actually, this is a good angle to see what I was talking about here. So you can see here compared to there, I was way wrong. 
it needed just a little, maybe a little more white. But as you can see, this is like the kind of gist of how you would go about uh, mixing a color. So I'll just do this one last time way quicker so you guys can catch the gist. So I'll just grab whatever I want. Like, let's do some blue, right? Let's grab some green here. Let's grab this, this. Let's grab some white, all right? Let's grab, I don't know, purple. We're gonna get like a real odd neutral. Let's grab some orange. Ooh, let's grab some red, why not, right? What the heck? Red is such a powerful pigment. This cadmium, it like just shifts every every color. This, yellow, okay. So maybe this, maybe that's what we wanna try to recreate, that color, okay? So let's clean our brush. Remember our three fundamentals here. We wanna figure out the hue, we wanna figure out the value, we wanna figure out the chroma. So I know this is gonna have white, red. We'll just do this one at a time. What's it close to? I'm looking at all these colors, I'd guess. Probably like burnt sienna, which is completely dry. I'm doing this sloppily because I need to clean up this painting surface for my painting session this evening. But I figure I might do a little tutorial for you guys. All right, let's get some of that luscious, gooey, gooey out there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Got a lot of mineral spirits on there. All right. Okay, so look at that. Boom, boom. Way too chromatic. The value is too dark. We need to add some white to it immediately. Let's get that white in there. Let's just see, let's just see. Adding white. Did we overshoot it? Maybe. Okay, so now as I look at this, this is way orange. I wanna like, first it's the value, you know, it's funny as I'm looking at it in real life and then I look at it in my phone, I'm seeing two different things here. Okay, so for you guys, your audience. Okay, so for you guys, this looks like this is higher in value, higher in chroma. This needs to turn into this. How do we do that? We need to darken it and desaturate. So I would say, why don't we add a little bit of blue? Because you remember the orange and the blue, it's going to desaturate. It's going to lower the value a little bit. And it's also going to neutralize it. It's going to maintain its hue family, but it's also going to lower its chroma. Let's see what this looks like. Mm. I mean, we're, we're really close already, guys. I would say this is, now it looks like this might be even a little bit darker, so we can add a smidget of white. Or let's just see what pink does. I don't know. Let's see what pink, let's see what that pink does. Because this is like a, a warm, if we were to add white, it would have cooled it down. And we already know this was darker, so I'm at a darker value we cool it down even more, it might shift to purple. Cause we're at a red, you add more cool to it, it might shift to purple. As I'm looking at these, these look pretty close. What do you guys think? I was trying to make that really short, but it ended up being 18 minutes. Oh well, enjoy.